everybody. This is Lana the Human back again with... Minus Hero. And where we last left off, Gabriel embarrassingly fell asleep in front of a lecture. And um, we learned a little bit about voodoo culture, but let's go and ask Mr. Professor here if he can elaborate a little bit. Whoa. Are you a student? No. Bond. My name is James Knight. Bond. Mm -hmm. Gabriel Knight. Well, you have walked into my private office, Mr. Knight. I hope you have something worthwhile to do here. Well, all right. If you figure it out, let me know. He's just mad at me because I fell asleep during his lecture. Probably. Mind if I pick your brain? Not if it will get you out right. of my office. What can you tell me about voodoo? You already sat through my lecture on the subject, Mr. Knight. Perhaps next time you could stay awake and learn something. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I've read about them in the papers. But I must admit to some interest. But according to the newspapers, the voodoo aspect is fake, so I haven't really pursued it. Man, yeah. that uh, lecture off must be near uh, airport. an airport or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are many so-called practitioners out there that have should have really no idea what they're doing. Yeah. The power Profound they're claiming. Come on, guys. What do you know about the voodoo murders? All right, all right, all right. As I said, I don't know anything. Snakes. Do you know anything about snakes? I'm not a zoologist. Reptiles. But I know all I care to about reptiles. Reptiles. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? It's June 23rd, the feast day of St. John the Baptist. The June 23rd has been a sacred day since the earliest times. Ancient uh, sun worshippers used to roll a flaming wheel down a hill to celebrate the sun's descent on that day. A burning wheel? Anything else? Huh. What can you tell me about St. John? Alrighty, Eve? fine. I'm not in the habit of... This guy's got his underwear up his butt. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Gaul means? Well, kind of Cabri Saint Gaul. Someone sitting in front of you asking it's questions, a and you have a super huge movie. wedgie. Yeah. Try to like it's wiggle it out of it. It literally without translates as goat without horns, as in a female goat. Ooh. Okay. No, as in a human sacrifice. Sacrifices in Voodoo are usually of the animal variety: chickens, bulls, goats. If the gods demand a goat mm. without horns. It means a human being. Creepy. Okay. Well. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? While I find the Big words, accusations dude. of Boudin <laughs> somewhat interesting from a surely intellectual point of view, there's not a lot of relation between people like Laveau and true Voodoo right. practices. <laughs> Do you know anything about animal masks? As I said in my lecture, which I uh, assume you actually listened to, is that animal masks, totems, are used extensively in most right. African Vodun villages. Have you ever heard of a Schotten Jaeger? I'm afraid I can't oh, help you there, Mr. Knight. Tell me about Veve. <sighs> If you'd taken That's notes, we did. My uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That was not a self high five or anything. Tell me more about human sacrifice. It's uh, very rare. Most voodoo practices do not include human sacrifice as a matter of record, but it is theoretically possible if that is what the gods demand. For example, one of the chants I had translated for me from a Haitian ritual went like this. 
Mistress Azuli, come and aid us. All right. If a cock is demanded, we will give it. If a bull will suffice, behold it. But if a goat without horns is required for sacrifice, oh, where will we find one? Azuli is the gentlest of Loa, so they call on her for mercy. But I have seen grown and powerful Hungan tremble before a possession by one of the more violent Loa, such as Arthaniel. Clearly, they are afraid that something of the sort will be ordered, or that the Loa will simply take it for themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me more. Tell me more about human sacrifice. I wouldn't dwell on it. Most Wudun sects right. probably haven't seen a human sacrifice for several generations. Tell me about yourself. All right, Mr. Knight, I'm 35, a fully tenured professor at this university, as well as a fellow at Cambridge. My doctorate was obtained at Syracuse. Yes, Syracuse, in religious studies. I'm an agnostic, but I find human belief systems fascinating. I specialize in African religions because I grew up there. My father was a Protestant missionary. And I am heterosexual. <laughs> when I practice wow. sex at all. <laughs> Thank you. Is uh -huh. my orphan. <laughs> Any other questions? Alrighty. Uh, this guy no. wants me to TTFO. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Um maybe he can tell me something about this. Is there anything you can tell me about the voodoo aspects of this photograph? Hmm, this is a serious voodoo ritual. Nasty stuff. In what way? Let's see. I can't make out much detail from this photograph. Except for the corpse, of course. But the wound, the face. And what little I can see of the ritual paraphernalia. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of certain black voodoo practices. Very rare. I've never witnessed them myself, you understand. Really? Interesting. Uh -huh. Thanks. Bling, 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 bling. What else can I give this guy? Money? Um, let's try... <laughs> Can you tell me anything about this? No, okay. I've never seen those symbols. Therefore, they're probably meaningless. Really? Are you <laughs> sure? I am never wrong. All right, dude. Therefore, sure is not in my vocabulary. Well, I'll just let myself out then. I'll be going. Are those his hands? Good day, Mr. Knight. Hmm? Did you see him? You're like, good day, Mr. Knight. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Hmm. Alrighty. Um, so... Oh, I have to go and pick up um, my drawing from that artist guy. I should probably have done that before, actually. Oh, well, not in the church, per se. Out of the church. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I did turn the speed up to, like, 10 billion, so... Alrighty. Alright. Interrogate versus small talk, I guess. <laughs> How's it going today? What? Oh, it's only you. Man, I have been jumpy all day. That that pattern of yours really freaked me out for some reason. It was just something creepy. You finished it? Yeah, and you're welcome to it. Here. Wow, this is great. Uh-huh. <laughs> just don't, like, blow up the planet with it or something, okay? I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, forget it. I'm probably just being stupid. Do your thing with it and good luck.
the reconstructed Bebe mm -hmm. was done for Gabriel by a technical Stay. artist. The artist's reconstruction of the voodoo murders pattern looks accurate to Gabriel. Something about it seems vaguely mm -hmm. familiar and creepy. I feel like I should go and give that to the professor guy. You think he would still be there? Possibly. Oh no, I just wanted to leave. Wait, can I? Oh god. Yes, How? you are in the house of God. Oh yeah. How do I leave? Oh god, it's gonna take forever. Do 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 do. Slitty's following me, like her boobs, back and forth. Hey, handsome. Okay. I just think it's funny how everyone is just walking in the grass. Yeah. What's the point of that stuff? Sony buttons. Mr. Knight, <laughs> you're back. Yeah. Oh, goody. Alrighty. I got something good for you, Mr. Professor. Can you tell me anything about this pattern? Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Man, this guy's Mind if I copy this? Becoming Be my guess. suspicious to me. Mm. Great. I'll be right back. But then again, I don't know a lot of what's been going on, so... Mm. Here you go. You know, this is a fascinating baby. You must tell me all about its origin. Actually, I was hoping you'd tell me. Can you figure out anything about it from the symbols? Well, some. That's why I wanted a copy. I want to research the design myself. Each of the symbols in the Rebe represents something. Loa, a place. Where did you get this? Have you heard of the voodoo murders? No, you're kidding. Really? Then the voodoo is authentic. The newspapers are wrong. What? Are they wrong? You think this Veve is authentic, then? Authentic? Mr. Knight, that's like asking if the Mona Lisa is a painting. Tell you what. I'll uh, look into these symbols myself and see what I can learn about the sect that made this. I'll give you a call when I have more information. Uh, you are associated with the police, aren't you? Absolutely. But I'm, uh, undercover. You can contact me at the St. George's Bookshop in the quarter. All right. Now, I'd like to get started yeah, on this, if you don't mind. All righty. Look at his hands. Maybe he'll do it again. <laughs> or okay. look at him whenever you leave him. Gabriel doesn't. Yeah, he just like. <laughs> I'll be gone. Well, good day, yeah. Mr. Knight. <laughs> well, you know, he was working on the thing, so maybe he was just awkwardly trying to. Yeah. Yeah, he was awkwardly spasming. Well, see you later, Mr. Knight. Oh, you know what? I actually just wanted to take a look at that court board. I don't know if you have anything interesting on it. But... Gabriel scans the bulletin board. 
Oh, Greek shit. night at the Alpha Psi Omega Frog House. Ah, it looks like it took place sometime mm -hmm. last spring. Gabriel Scott. There's a notice for a lecture on investigative reporting techniques to be given by octogenarian Pulitzer Prize winner Laura Bo Dorian. Unfortunately, it's weeks away. By that time, Gabriel will have to have learned on his Octogenarian. own. Octogenarian, I'll have to look that one up. Does it explain why there's like a voodoo narrator whenever he's investigating stuff? Mm, no, I guess it's just part of the, the game. Yeah. Or maybe it's like Gabriel's inner monologue. Hmm. Um. What, what, um, okay, I think I should maybe also give the thing to my police friend. The drawing? I turn the speed up to like 10 billion. <laughs> I like how they just don't care. Yeah. Do, 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 yeah. Do, do. <laughs> Mostly my man. <laughs> it's you, God help me. Alrighty. You know those marks you found around the murder victims? This is a reconstruction of the whole matter. Hmm. That's cute, Gabriel. Almost looks legit. I'm sure our police hey are going to be amused at your techniques. Are you not able to tell him that he's getting the lecturer to look into it? I guess not. Stuff. Can I ask you about some stuff? I like how he pronounces You're stuff. Oh, okay. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Sounds okay. like a put on to me. Cool. Um, oh. Do you have any idea what Capri Saint Gaul means? Hell no. Is that French? My mother spoke Sounds it, like but it. I always had a hard enough time <laughs> yeah. to speak in English. True um, Do you know anything about <laughs> the bebes? What? Bebes. They're ritualistic patterns used in voodoo. You know, like those marks we found around the body. You know what the department says about that night. That voodoo stuff is fake. Yeah, well, they're wrong. These bebes. Look, just stop worrying about them, Marks. I don't think they're relevant. All right. Um, I think this would be a good place to pause. So I'm sure Gabriel is getting aggravated at his friend. Um. Okay. Hopefully next time we can learn how to convince this guy a little bit better. So see you guys later.